know what day it is. It is Thread Up Thursday, and we are going to be opening a Thread Up DIY designer box today. One of my favorite ones to do. I did risk my life again today trying to get the one off the bottom, which would be one of the older designer boxes that I have uh, stored up to open. So, um, and this one seems, mm, it's not super heavy, but it's on the heavier side. Um, and this one is coming to us from Mechanicsburg. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you're new here, my name is Christina and I'm a part-time reseller. So all of my content comes from like a part-time perspective um, because I do have a full-time business that I run as well. But I just love doing reselling. I love doing unboxings and I love doing YouTube. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Here we go. This one is going to be an older one. So, oh good, there's a receipt. I was going to say, I hope we have a receipt so we can see how long ago I ordered this one. And the designer boxes have been kind of hard to get again. So I may have to start. I think I have maybe three left after this one. So I may have to start ordering again, you know. I used up all my credits um, that they were allowing for the use on rescue boxes at the end of the year, and now they're not doing that anymore. So I've been trying to like hold off on the purchasing. Okay, yes, this is a designer box. It's gonna contain seven DIY designer items, which means they may need some sort of fixing, cleaning, who knows, uh, maybe it's missing a size. And this was ordered on April 14th. So yes, a good minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will give you guys a peek off the top. You can see that polka dot tissue that we all like to see. Okay, ooh, this is fun. Okay, let me give you guys a peek. Everything I see off the top is black. So that, maybe we've got like a themed designer box. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, I'm gonna start with this item. <gasps> Look what I see. Yay, I see some Burberry um, check print. This is a Burberry London. This is a black bucket hat. And it says that this is in a size medium. So I'm not really a bucket hat kind of girl, but I may have to become one to wear this hat. I wonder if this will fit me. Okay, let me try. I'm usually... Um, it looks pretty clean on the inside, so I'm going to try it on. Y'all, check out my cute headband here. I got this from Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark. Lindsay does a lot of designer rescue box unboxings. Um, and I bought this Henry Bendel um, bracelet from her, from her last jewelry unboxing. And she sent me this headband. Um, everybody knows I love a good headband. And I know we get a lot of them in the fun boxes. So I'm looking really cute with this one. I love this one. Lindsay, thank you so much. Um, okay, so let's see how this looks. See if I am a bucket hat kind of, it's a little snug. I don't know. I don't know if I can get away with this. Maybe with a pair of sunglasses? I'm not sure. Okay, you guys let me know what you think. I'm not sure about this on me. Um, okay, I don't know. That one's a question mark. I really like this though, and it's in good condition. Put my headband back on. Yay, I'm excited about this right off the start. Okay, so that opens up right under there. We've got a bag. Yes, I love when we get a bag. This is a Longchamp. You can see the little Longchamp logo right there. Um, I thought maybe there was a little nick in it, but I think it was just a little, I don't know, fuzz or something. I like this one, you guys. This is different than the Le Pillage, or however you say it, uh, bags that you normally see. This one is uh, kind of like a nylon. And then you've got this patent strap. It's got an extra clip here. So I don't know if that's because, I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Um, you've got your hardware here, zipper works. Okay, let's check out the inside. Ew, okay, I see the problem. <laughs> I get why it's in the box. <laughs> I 
I know y'all love it when I say ew, because something's going to be gross. Ew. Yuck. Who did that? Gross. I am certainly not touching that. I don't know what that is, but I am going to clean it up. So I'll put some gloves on and I'll get in there. Probably. Should I smell it? I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm, feel, I'm feeling like maybe this was like candy or something. Anyways, I'm going to try type of towels, but realistically, I think that I'm going to have to use rubbing alcohol to get this off. It looks very sticky. And then there is another mark here, which I would touch to see if that's damaged, but I don't want to touch it because of that sticky. So outside of that yuck, this is in great shape. I love this. I've already kept one long shot from, um, from the boxes that I've opened. May have to add this to my collection as well. Uh, I really shouldn't be keeping a lot of items. <laughs> I need to make my money back on the box, right? Okay, next up, well, let me give you another peek because I'm seeing a lot of black and now we have a pop of color. So let's finish off this sweater off the top. I am loving this. Look at this. I love sweaters that have like little graphics on them and say things. And of course this has holes. Okay. This one, I don't know this brand. Okay. I'm going to have to look this one up too. Um, this one is by the brand, a bathing ape says world gone mad 1993 to 2093. And this is in a size medium. So it's got the little ape on there and then it has the bathing ape logo all on it. However, I immediately saw right off the top, there's a big hole right there. And it looks like maybe one there too. So let's see, does that go all the way through? It does. So I will look this up. Um, I don't know if I'm putting pricing on the screen on this because I'm already maybe keeping two items. I don't know. But if I'm selling anything from the box, there will be prices on the screen for subscribers. I usually give 40 to 50% off of what I would list an item for. Um, I don't know about this one. I don't know what these go for, although I will say I really like it. And honestly, if it was in my size, I probably would just keep it even with the hole. But I don't know. That hole is not also in a good place to be having a hole in your sweater. Okay, so it looks like we have one more sweater and then maybe another clothing item and two pairs of shoes. So let's go ahead and get into the other sweater. Um, I always feel like the sweaters, that like that is the flaw, is that there is gonna be a hole in them. Um, so I don't get super excited when I see the sweaters in there because there's only so much you can do about a hole, right? You can mend it but it's almost always still going to show a flaw. Um, okay. This is Bogner. There's the tag there. Um, I don't see a size up there, but already there's our hole. Now this one's not too bad. This one could be stitched and repaired. And then, you know, if you have longer hair, this is in the back. So your hair might go over that. Um, the short sleeve hot pink sweater the puppy just came in from running for those of you who know what's going on with her she just got her stitches out um, and so she's doing well um, so she's taking full advantage of the fact that she's feeling better okay this one is in a size six and this is a hundred percent cashmere so that is wonderful there is the B for the Bogner, and this is great. I mean, I'm not thrilled about the hole, but I feel like this is not the worst place a hole could be in. You know, in. Now, typically what I do um, is I will have this repaired, um, the holes I usually have repaired, and then um, I will just note it in the listing, and a lot of times people don't care. But this is in a better spot than that other one. That's really nice. I like that one. Okay, next we have a pair of 
gold metallic heels. How awesome. Mm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I got some like dust in the air or something. Okay. I've got my tea. Y'all, I love iced tea. I don't drink sweet tea. I drink unsweet tea. I like it to taste like dirt, like the earth. And if it tastes like that, then I'm all in. And so I kind of have a tea problem. I try to make it myself at home, but it doesn't turn out the same. Um, so whenever I'm out, because I had to take a puppy to the vet, um, I always get myself an iced tea. So anyway, got my tea. We're good. <clears throat> Back on track. <laughs> we have a gold metallic pointed toe heel. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is by Brian Atwood. The Brian Atwood shoes are really well made. Um, you can see the cushioning inside here. They do not resell for very much money. So it's not the best brand to resell, but the brand itself is really nice. Um, I don't know if I already said it because I got distracted with my tea, but that is a size eight and a half. Um, that one looks excellent. I don't see anything on the heel. I don't even see a scuff in the toe. I would say there's just a little bit of wrinkling around the toe from wear. Okay, other shoe. Also looks excellent. Taps look good. Maybe a little scratch there. Okay, we've got maybe a little scuff there. There is a little indentation here. I don't know if that's from storage or what. And then you have this increasing here. But overall, these are in great shape. I just look at that cushion. Look how luxurious that looks. Amazing. I don't wear heels anymore and these are not my size, but I think they're really, really pretty. I love those. Okay. Next pair of shoes. We have a pair of Manolo. Okay. These are really pretty. These are in kind of a patchwork. Um, they look, we've got a little break here. I, they're probably lizard. Does this say exotic on it? It does not say exotic, but if I had to guess, I would say this is actual some sort of snake or lizard. It feels like that. There is a little tear here. That could just be glued down a little bit with some glue. Um, otherwise, these are in great shape. These are in a 39 and a half. So let's check the other one. That's the only spot I see where it looks like there's an issue. There's a little bit of wrinkling here from wear. Um, that just needs to be worn again. These need to be loved again. Okay, let's see. I'm loving the patchwork on these. I don't know if you guys saw in my shorts um, that I'm doing during the listing challenge, but if you go check out one, I forgot which one it's in. I found a pair of Stodd knee high, different color of brown suede patchwork boots that are insane. And I paid up for them at the thrift. I'm usually pretty cheap when I'm at the thrift. Um, I paid 40 bucks for those and they are listed on the real real right now not my pair I'm selling mine I'm trying to sell mine myself first um, they're listed on the real right now for $315 and so I think I listed mine right around the $300 mark and um, they are gorgeous they are brand new they still have the inserts in them awesome patchwork is definitely on trend right now so I love these tops look really good um, and I don't really see major issues with these. Manolas tend to sell pretty well for me. Um, better than like the Jimmy Choo's. So these are awesome and they are in a great size. Okay. How did that go so fast? I always am so surprised. All right. Last item in the box is a clothing item. And I see a great label. Let's hope it's in good shape. We've got Victoria Beckham jeans. So this is a diffusion line. Of Victoria Beckham which resells well retails and resells for a pretty penny look how lovely this is oh I love that oh this is a very light um, chambray blouse it's trying to find a size I feel like this is a pretty decent size like I would say this is 
a medium, maybe even a large. Let's see. See if there's any other tags in here. Doesn't look like it. So we don't have a size, which is probably why this one is in here because it's in great shape. So I will have to find some that are listed um, already that have the size intact and do some measurement comparisons. Is that a little stain? There may be a little stain right here or some lightning on the material, but that is so pretty. And look at the back. So you've got a sleeveless lightweight top, perfect for the upcoming season as we move into spring. So overall, y'all, this box was a winner. I got the Victoria Beckham jeans top. I got these gorgeous like lizard or snake Manolos that are overall, except for that minor repair, in really good shape. I got the also in good shape Brian Atwood gold heel. <clears throat> we got the Bogner sweater. The bathing ape that I have to look into sweater. Y'all, the sticky long shop that I'm really excited about. Overall in excellent condition, except for that cleaning job. And the Burberry bucket hat. So this box kind of contains what I'm always looking for, which is an accessory, a bag, shoes, and clothes. So I am calling this box a winner. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to tune in again next Monday. I will be coming with another Rescue Box recap. And then I do two unboxings a week on Tuesday and Thursday. I try to alternate the fun boxes um, and the designer boxes. So every Thursday we get a different one. And I believe next week I'm also opening a mixed jewelry box. So make sure to join me then. Have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.